Hello, I'm Alex Witchfinder, and I've been planning on making this video for quite a while now. Uh, the original plan was to release it uh, a little bit before the new EP that came out in June. And the idea of this video is to present every album that Thylight released in the last 15 years. So Thylight started as a solo project of Paolo back in 2005 in the city of Limeira, countryside of the state of São Paulo. And we met online more or less at the same time of the beginning of Thy Light. And there was this social network back in Brazil that was very famous uh, back then. And you need to understand that black metal was not a big thing in the early 2000s in Brazil. I guess that most of the people were either into brutal extreme death metal following Crisium, Fast and other bands that you might have heard as of now and in case you don't you should definitely go after or fresh metal like this revival that was coming back right now it's happening the same with other genres but black metal was a little bit underground and most of the black metal fans back then were quite narrow-minded I would say uh, Paolo and I, on the other hand, we were from a newer generation. We started listening to metal in the mid-90s and therefore we had different influences than those that grew on the 80s. And we liked Skateboard, we liked uh, Merciful Fate above pretty much every other band. Uh, the same for Emperor and these melodic black metal bands or those with keyboards uh, Paolo used to say that black metal without keyboards would be a mistake, but that's uh, something that in Brazil was quite unorthodox in the early 2000s. So we bonded quite easily back then, uh, because we had similar tastes, we had a similar background, especially about uh, growing in the countryside where things were a little bit different from the capitals. And back in the days, I used to live with some guys from another band called Abske Fides. You can read online a lot of information on Abske Fides and many websites are gonna state that I'm one of the former members. That's not exactly true. Uh, I lived with Nihil, uh, the main composer of Abske Fides and Shai. And, of course, we did a lot of things together, we used to jam together a lot. And some of these ideas were later observed by his personal projects. And I remember that I wrote one album, like the lyrics, uh, based on a screenplay that we went to watch in Curitiba. Uh, there was this uh, screenplay by the author Sarah Kane that was being presented, it's called psychosis 448 and yeah the lyrics were not actually recorded in any song by Abscifides except for one which is called 448 in their original debut album but the main lyrics uh, were discarded the thing is in this forum we used to talk a lot about black metal and Paolo got to know the lyrics that I've written for Abske Fides and he was like man I need you to write the lyrics for Thy Light. And the first thing I heard from Paolo was that demo from Lord Sergolov that he presented The Call of the Dark Forest and honestly it was nothing like Thy Light ended up to be. Those who have listened to it might know that this is not a Thy Light, your typical Thy Light release. It's way more traditional black metal and Thy Light started with a different proposal. Later this proposal started being called depressive suicidal black metal, but back in the times we didn't even have or thought about this concept. We used to call it simply dark metal or black slash doom metal. And Either Paolo and I, we were suffering a lot back in uh, mid-2006 where we started composing together the album, the demo, Suicide Depression. And as you might find written on the tape, the album was entirely composed under a several stage of depression and that's actually true for both of us. Uh, and so this album worked as a way to escape 
this dark, gloomy and suffering environment and conditions that we had back then. This is the cassette released by Ruin Productions from Australia. And this was not a pro tape. They, they only sent like the covers in which Paolo presents himself on the cover back in his corridor and here we had like a reframe this was originally a design from a skateboard deck where there's this girl hang in the swing where there is this guy hanging besides and my copy is the number two out of 500 this was hand numbered and this was released in 2007 and Ruin Productions contacted Dylight because of the songs that we had uh, previously made available on MySpace because originally we tried checking on labels back in Brazil and everybody listened to that and nobody understood exactly what was going on you have to remember that in the mid 2000s, early 2000s in Brazil, what was being very common was this wave of brutal death metal. Dylight, on the other hand, was influenced by Brazilian black metal, especially Amen Corner, a band that made Paolo fall in love for black metal originally. <laughs> This tape was not a pro press release. I had this master CD in which I used to record the demos at my place. I'm quite sure my mom still has uh, more or less 15 of those tapes back in Brazil, which, you know, one day they might appear somewhere. Uh, <laughs> don't ask me for that now. I'm not living in Brazil for quite a while, Paolo also is living in Scotland now, and yeah, that was our first release. The results, the outcome of it was a little bit slow, but it came very, in a very honest and close way. I remember that a lot of fans from all over the world, which was very crazy for us, you know, we were never expecting to be recognized outside of Brazil or maybe even in Australia which was the country of the original release of that but anyways like Shy the band from the guy who lived with me uh, a few years later this Chinese label contacted us past productions because they wanted to release our new album and back then the new album was not even exactly planned as you might notice uh, Paolo and I we stood like several years without talking about the band or talking about any other further release and I went to do university Paolo was also working and studying back in the days so Violet was on hold and when we released the second album No More Shall Down the idea of past productions was to re-release Suicide Depression as a CD. Uh, so they remastered it and also released. This version is a digipack. This was a test press which was not approved because as you can see it is barely recognizable. The print turned out to be very bad quality. So it came back to the factory where they re-released this remastered version which all of you can hear now on every streaming service and this followed the release of No More Rochelle Down that came right after by the same Chinese label Pass Productions so this DG was you know quite ambitious project here you've got my picture paulo's picture and after the release of the digipacks 
they also repressed it in dual cases. And those who follow Dylite on these cogs might notice that the prices for the original Digipack ones increased a lot. But the thing about the re-release of Suicide Depression was the fact that this, I guess it is Russian, but I, maybe I'm totally wrong. There was this label called Suicidal Propaganda that released a bootleg version of it. A version that I don't have and I really wanted to have. I don't think that Paolo has it as well. I know some people who's got one and I don't judge anyone who bought it because, you know, it was not released before on CD and I wanted to have one copy myself. Uh, which is very weird because we were like, okay, who's releasing that? And as of today, we don't know. And we never got any copy, any royalty, anything. So it was a reaction to this bootleg release that Suicide Depression went out on CD after. Uh, so I, I, I'm not quite sure what happened right after. But out of a sudden it was 10 years of the original release of Suicide Depression. So Past Productions decided to make a box version in which they included a flag, banner, call it, whatever you like. We have a tape, special tape of 10 years, different artwork. This one comes already with a pro sticker, something that the original one uh, was lacking off and also a DGCD also with this remastered uh, master and with a DG sleeve digipack case and here there was also this notes from the band in which you'll find a big text written by me and well gotta tell you not so big text written by Paolo. So most of the things that are written here are the things that I'm talking about right now. About how crazy it was for us that, you know, that first demo that was recorded in the most underground way at home using a computer only, uh, reached these sort of statues within the black metal, suicidal black metal scene. The thing is, we released that, these two, uh, the demo and the CD before. And the demo was originally released in Australia and then repressed. And the second album was released by a Chinese label. And I Light was a Brazilian band that was never being released in Brazil. It was very hard to find. Nowadays, I know it's still very hard to find which is such a shame and for that reason this label in Brazil contacted us to release this version compendium that had like a compilation of these two albums it came out like 50 of those wooden boxes and in which a double CD with a laser cut was released and here you have also a different artwork and once you remove the insert you see that the crow on the cover is cut and here there are different pictures this picture of me is a little bit recent I took it in 2017 on the tomb of the film director Andrei Tarkovsky and you also have this Paolo picture here already in Scotland and back in 2015 I guess or 16 they contacted us asking if we wanted to be part of a tribute for Summoning which was one of their main references behind Thy Light I guess that everyone for now should know summoning and in case you don't go listen to it 
where they released this triple CD tribute in order where the shadows are homage to summoning and I guess on I'm not sure if it is in the first CD or maybe on the second no it's actually on the first so track number five there is a cover for loop woods yeah so this is doesn't count exactly as a an original dialight release but it is somehow and that's the thing you know we had everything released in CD the first demo was released in tape but back then there were no vinyls Back in 2016, 2017, the first conversations about releasing on vinyl started. And the first one released was this one, Suicide Depression. Also with a different artwork in a big gatefold. And there are two versions of this vinyl. They look exactly the same, but one is on black wax and the other one came out in silver so this is the black version and they also come with a lyric sheet and a poster this album was released by the label of this friend of Paolo called Fallen Empire in collaboration with Eisenwald Productions and it's funny because this came out this came sold out quite easily and Fallen Empire closed they ended their activities not so long after so a repress for that it's a little bit hard but this is something we're working on right now and maybe in the near future we're gonna have some news about it and as I mentioned there is also a silver version of this album and not so long after past productions that had released previously the CD versions also released the debut album No Moral Showdown in vinyl as well also a gatefold also comes with a poster this one has a poster that resembles a little bit more of the cover art the original cover art because as i mentioned every release of suicide depression has a different cover and in this one the lyrics are pressed within the gatefold there's a funny story about the actual vinyl of this album. The original plan was having it released in gold, gold color. But, you know, the ironies of black metal. Do you remember the story of the yellow goat of Bathory? We have our own version of it. The record came out to be this uh, yoke yellow which I find, you know, quite funny, especially because it has this marmor effect. But I remember that Paolo was quite upset with that. And, you know, having a story that relates to Battery somehow makes me happy about it. <laughs> but that was not originally the plan, I, I can agree with that. Right 
right before the release of the new EP, there was a re-release, a repress of Compendium, also with a different artwork in Digibook. So you have the two CDs here on the covers and you have a booklet with also a different artwork here has the same picture that they used with me for the CD version of No More Showdown on past productions and yeah Apollo's picture was the same as they used as well and we also have updated lyrics and this was released in Brazil and last but not least this is the new EP the self-titled EP in this one I'm not participating and the story behind this one uh, most of you might know for now uh, Paulo lost one of his friends that played with him in this band in Brazil called a Dream State, Murilo Mazza. And Murilo is the one for which this album here is dedicated. So Paolo did it himself as a homage to Murilo. And this came out in a collaboration between the band and the Austrian label Tauheim Records. So yeah, this one has a black media, I guess that for now here you can see on the reflection the Bremen flag on my wall, <laughs> it's funny. And yeah, also comes with a poster, as you might have noticed there's a lot of posters coming with Dylight's releases. Anyways, I guess that for now, that's it. You know, 15 years, there's a lot of releases here for only one demo, one EP, and one CD, one full length. Uh, soon we are planning on releasing the new EP on the vinyl as well. The same for some re-releases of the others that went sold out. I'm gonna be linking everything here underneath. I would suggest you all to subscribe to our channel. I would like to thank you for the patience of watching this almost 30 minutes of me talking to a camera. And I hope you like the content of that and in case you were in doubt on how every release looked or if it was actually official or not you have everything covered here and you can listen to us in every streaming platform and you can still get the new sdp on our big carto and the previous releases on past productions website thank you very much for your time and keep up for the further announcements that we're gonna have quite soon Bye.